The Eco Simmer Backpacking Stove. How does a tool that has made backcountry cooking green, or is it actually a piece of greenwash tech? As an outdoor guide and the engineer, we're going to be investigating if there's a place for the Eco Simmer, or is it a greenwash device that deserves to be left at the store? The Eco Simmer is an electric backpacking stove that requires an external battery pack to provide it with the energy to allow it to cook. The unit is currently priced at $149 with the expectations that your battery will supply 100 watts to meet the full USB power delivery specification, which the cheapest battery they recommend comes in at an additional $75. This device does heating through resistive heating, which makes these elements close to 100% efficient, but also 100 watts is very limiting for the amount of energy that can be added to the water. This stove has many flaws that prevent it from being a good product in any scenario. First, with a massive weight increase over a normal stove, a much bigger footprint, and then a much, much slower cooking speed, all of these are big factors. But the biggest factor is that there's actually a bigger environmental footprint from using this stove than using a conventional backpacking stove. Let's start with the most obvious, the Eco Simmer's weight of 13.8 ounces, or 400 grams, which when compared to the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe, which is my personal choice for a backpacking stoves, it weighs 3.8 ounces more than this 10 ounce stove. But that's just the stoves. That does not include the battery or the fuel, and that's where it gets worse. The lightest battery that Ecosimmer recommends is 18.7 ounces, which is 5.6 ounces more than this 13 ounce fuel canister that is eight ounces of fuel that MSR recommends with most of their stoves. And this fuel canister gets lighter as it gets used, making your trip as it gets longer, easier and easier. And that totals to a massive weight increase of 9.4 ounces over a standard stove which is less than a pound, but that's still quite a hard sell for any backpacking enthusiast when it comes to them wanting to cut ounces. The Pocket Rocket Deluxe comes in at 1.2 liters, which is a pot, a cup, the stove, a pot grabber, and an igniter. Everything inside. You can even get an eight ounce fuel can that fits inside with this too. But when we compare to the Eco Summer, which is already bigger at 1.4 liters, then you have to add a battery that comes in at 0.4 liters, you can easily see that in a bag where all of the space is limited, it's an even harder sell. You also can't take the battery and fit inside the cup of the Eco Simmer as dimensions just don't work. Well, with the big battery that you have to carry around, you might think that this thing is pretty fast, but that's where you're also disappointed. Compared to the Pocket Rocket's one liter of water boiled in 3.3 minutes, it takes the Eco Simmer 30 minutes to get half a liter of water boiled, which is the recommended amount of water for one mountain house meal in a very common backpacking trip. That means if you want to travel in a group, each person has to bring a stove unless they're willing to wait over an hour for food, which means unlike the advertising says, this is not perfect for group backpacking and you can't split the weight up very well. The next issue is battery capacity. Well, because it's so slow, it must be pretty efficient, right? The EcoSimmer website claims a total cooking capacity of 32 fluid ounces of water to bring it to a boil or 64 ounces to bring it to a simmer. Using this simmering figure for one battery, you can get a total of four mountain house meals before your battery's dead, which is the pocket rocket, which is ready for six or 17 liters of water or 575 ounces, which comes up to 36 meals worth of water in one fuel canister that gets lighter as it's used. But the eco simmer is certainly not marketed as a device that beats the standard stove in any of these categories, but does it even hold up in its main marketing point of being more sustainable? To evaluate with this, we're gonna set some large assumptions in favor of the Eco Simmer before making any comparisons. The first one is that the Eco Simmer and the Pocket Rocket are made of all the same materials and both contain the same quantity of materials. In this way, we can assume that the stoves themselves have the exact same carbon footprint, which makes them equal. We're then also gonna ignore the fact that the Eco Simmer has electronics in it that are possibly hazardous to produce and recycle, just for simplicity's sake. We're also gonna consider that metal is a recycled material that can be recycled infinitely as uh, proven by scientific papers, and that as an individual with big environmental conscious, like the person who purchased an eco simmer, they would also recycle a fuel can for a stove, so we can ignore that material too. We're also not going to be discussing the recycling of lithium batteries, the carbon impact of that, and because we don't have any data that's concrete, and the impacts are still not fully known for lithium batteries. To figure out the eco simmer's environmental efficiency, we had to start and do some math. The first thing we did was we found out how big the battery was at 100 watt hours. We then found how much CO2 is generated per kilogram of battery per kilowatt of batteries generated, which comes to 73.5 kilograms. Once we knew that figure, we could then multiply it by how many kilowatt hours of battery we have at 0.1 to get 7.35 kilograms 
of CO2 produced per battery. We then found that there's 0 0.855 pounds of CO2 produced per kilowatt of power generated, which we converted to kilograms and then multiplied by the amount of kilowatts we use every single time we charge the battery at 100% efficiency, which is 0 0.1. Then over 400 life cycles, this battery gets to be used. That 7.35 kilograms is distributed over 400 life cycles, which then comes out to um, 18.375 grams per charge. So if we combine all of that over one charge, it means it's 1.789 grams of CO2 are produced or used per ounce of water boiled over the lifespan of a full battery and 400 uses of the eco simmer, which comes out to 28.75 grams of CO2 per meal produced, which is quite a lot. When we compare it to the MSR Pocket Rockets Deluxe 20% propane, 20% butane rating with an 8 ounce canister, um, which can generate over 575 ounces of water and has creates 2.99 kilograms of fuel per kilogram of fuel and 3.03 .03 kilograms of CO2 per kilogram of fuel for butane. And with these liquid densities, we're able to come out to 0 0.6481 grams of CO2 per ounce of water boiled which comes up to 2.75 times more efficient than the eco simmer over the lifespan of the eco simmer and one full battery, which comes out, which is quite a few times more efficient, which is surprising for something that burns something. We can see how these batteries are being used to compete against this energy source. It's just not quite possible to keep up and overall is actually environment, environmentally more hazardous. If you'd like to check out the sources, here's all the sources. They'll also be linked in the description. After looking at the math, which completed, it's easy to see that EcoSimmer over its lifetime will generate 2.75 times more CO2 than the pocket rocket using fuel canisters. And if we exclude all the CO2 coming from electricity generation to charge the battery and say it was charged via a solar panel or another zero carbon energy source, it would still take 20 fuel cans of carbon burning to become more efficient or less efficient than the eco simmer, which would be able to make over 708 meals at a faster and cheaper cost compared to the 800 the eco simmer can make at a much slower rate, which for most people, that difference in meals for being almost the same in or being the exact same in the amount of or environmental impact might be worth it as most people do not spend 708 days or even 354 days backpacking um, using a stove in their whole entire life. So at this point, the MSR Pocket Rocket is more environmentally friendly than the EcoSimmer. While the EcoSimmer's performance leaves much to be desired in almost all aspects, there are a few situations that something like this would make sense. And the first one is when you have limited access to a clean power source, such as when you're driving in your car, there's not a ton of power, but you can use this to power, to heat up water. Or when you are uh, already have access to abundant clean energy, such as when solar is available in an off-grid cabin or in weight is not an issue. A great example, again, would be car camping or small off-grid cabin. I would like to add for this whole entire video that electric stoves in the home make much more sense as there is no batteries to add into the carbon that needs to be offset. And they can greatly reduce the amount of CO2 generated compared uh, to burning something on your, for your stove to make heat. And that now electrification, electri electrification of the homes now more than ever to reduce your individual CO2 emissions and carbon footprint. But back to the eco simmer. I'm very disappointed in this product and why it exists. And I'm really hoping that you can find an alternative use case for the stove and you can market towards it instead of lying about how green this product is. All sources for this video are linked in the description. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you don't agree with my math or think you found something that I missed here, please feel free to leave a comment and we can talk about it down there.